And the ironic thing, we didn't intend to make a video at all. So we're so happy that we can provide this content for you. I hope you enjoy it. We have been bragging about our truck all summer long. We love it and it's it's done, but check engine light has just come on. It waited till we made the turn and started heading back east, so thank you. Um, but I think I'm going to get Amy and the dogs to the campground and run over to an auto parts store, see if they'll give me what the code is, see why the check engine hopefully it's nothing maybe emissions or something it's not going to affect it but uh we need to know <laughs> every time we turn to go home is when things go crazy our stairs are stuck they're not either all the way up and all closed why don't you go on to the auto parts store i won't use the step i'll go over it and uh, well, I the thought dog. you said you were going to fix them while I was gone. It could happen, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Um, managing expectations. If if you can't force them to move, it's unlikely I will. I'll try a gentle touch and see if that helps at all. But you go ahead and get to the auto parts store. All right. We'll try to fix or avoid. Let's divide and conquer. Just got back from Advanced Auto. So they were awesome. And... um. I'm not sure if all Vans Autos do it, but I believe that they do. They wouldn't take any money, which is awesome. But they put a reader on it. We had the perfect storm, apparently. We were low on def, and we did an exhaust cleaning that the truck just does. You have to drive like 20 miles, and it cleans. And it did that today, which is not abnormal. I think, I think that we have never actually had uh been low on def while it was cleaning and sure enough the code that's what it says it says the remedy is to make sure it's filled up and it should clear the code so i guess we will see tomorrow just like when we left alaska i mean exactly we're like man we'll put the cameras away for a while we've driven this trip back and forth across country 14 times so we've run out of things to share with you on that but drama. We got to quit saying it. I think we're the ones causing it to happen. So we didn't even pull our stairs out last night. I started to and they came out um, lopsided and wonky again. And we didn't want them to get stuck down again. So we are headed into Kansas City today. We thought we'll just wait to deal with that when we get to Kansas City. But as I was towing, I noticed an old familiar problem had reared its ugly head again. I ran out to Ace Hardware because I, I couldn't have I didn't have the right tool in Canada to fix it. Uh, so I came back and I just took a look at what's going on. And Ames, you need to see this before I tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm terrified. When Jim doesn't want to tell me, it's not a good sign. So let me get out of my Airstream with no stairs at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Jim, you shouldn't have even turned the camera on for that. Oh, it looks like a bomb went off. We have a giant flipping hole in the airstream and I mean big. Oh my God, and water's probably gotten down in there. Oh my God. It appears of what has happened, and the reason she saw this rock guard flipping the way it was, is the the bracket didn't break. The whole, there's a whole chunk of aluminum just pulled out right there. I, I, I don't know what to do. Um... Holy moly. <laughs> I warned you it was bad.
I think I think what we're gonna have to do is take the rock guard off. Well it, well, I don't know that we should take it off off, but I think we're gonna have to undo it and maybe me run back to Ace Hardware and maybe get some flex seal or something to keep water out, right? Because I mean that bracket here see, see if you can get it from this angle. So it just ripped loose? <laughs> it, it it pulled. Yeah, look, I mean it tore the whole the a hole in the airstream. That should be under warranty. Definitely. Most definitely should be under warranty. But do you know what I would give in this one brief moment? It's the first time I've ever said this, to be changing a leaf spring. I swear. <laughs> I, I'm just stunned. Wow. I was shocked. Oh. Back to Ace Hardware. Uh, I mean, as you can see, it, it is a big hole. This bracket just completely ripped a hole in that panel's aluminum. And that's that's uh, insulation right there. So it feels dry. So that's a plus, right? But, I mean, I hope we make it home. <laughs> it just ripped the whole thing off. Um, I don't understand it. I, that's a bad design if that's the case. If this has happened to anybody else, you know, please let us know. Like, okay, trusty flex seal. We've done this before. And might I say, if you're going to own any RV, not just an Airstream, you need to own some Flex Hill. Not sponsored, by the way. We should, as much as we've used it. <laughs> we should, I mean, at a minimum, we should buy stock in it. Yeah, exactly. And it's getting ready to rain, so flex yeah. quickly, babe. I did buy it in, uh, in gray. Oh, Oh. Uh. It hurts my heart every time I look at it. Uh, it's, it's, as a wise woman once said, bad. <laughs> I'm wondering if you should put a piece on the inside too. If you think you can, just to give it a double layer. I hear you. I'm not sure how to do that. Kind of like that. Well, that would be way too big to fish in the hole, but I just meant like a smaller piece to stick inside the hole. Let's see. And then maybe cut that. Yeah. Do you want my smaller hands? Maybe. Don't cut yourself. I'm trying to get up to the top so water doesn't right. run down. Sometimes it helps to be really short person sometimes with small hands. Oh, nicely done, Ames. This stuff, by the way, is a miracle product, but it's a booger to deal with. It is really sticky, which is why it works so well, I'm sure. Okay, not perfect right there, but better for it running down at least. Now you can go over the top. Well, should we double it up? <laughs> I'm shocked because it's the middle bracket. The end brackets are completely fine i mean you can see where where the bracket finally broke that it started wearing but these which bear the weight right the side ones are what hold the weight this should just rocker. right it it doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense it really does not i have no idea why this what it would happen so um question is do you think we should do a double flex seal or do you think that's good i mean um i don't know that double does us any good i, yeah, like I kind of feel the same way we maybe cut out a thinner strip here just to keep any water from running down behind it well which it's it should flex in theory right? it's flex it's, seal it's, i think we're okay all right we'll check it when we get to kansas i City. think what i am gonna do is cut some small flex seal and just tape the rock guard I don't know if that'll help, but... Well, I would definitely tape over the jagged edges because I'm worried about this just tearing the flex seal up. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about taking really it off. Jagged. The fact that we've documented it, 
I think maybe we just take this off. Oh, that makes me nervous too. Why? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not doing anything. It's just going to sit there and and bang. That's true. You're right. Yes. You're right. You're right. I'm calling it. You're right. Who's that calling, Joe? Uh, it's Bruce Long. I think he's serving humble pie. <laughs> the bracket is off, so at least that won't be flopping around. Should uh, we put flex seal over that hole just because there's not normally a hole there? Nah, because, I mean, it'll run through. It'll run through. It's not a big deal. Um, of course, it's starting to rain. All right, so we're going to get this tightened down and uh, and get packed up. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, here comes the weather. If we do it like this, I doubt that's going to... Oh, to hold the on. Right, you see? I got you. You're making a support bracket. Yes, support bracket. Yeah, babe, as long as we don't drive over 20, that'll work great. <laughs> well, maybe two more, one on each side. It's not going to hurt anything if it comes loose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, this is janky. I look forward to the after shot once we get to Kansas City, driving at decent speeds. This will be a um, right. fun experiment. And a wise man once told me that tape is cheap. That was before Flexil, because Flexil is definitely not cheap. But I guess it's cheaper than the alternative. If we get to Kansas City and this holds, Flexil, I, I think we should get some money from you. I think this is the best commercial you could ask for, right? We'll see. We're actually almost in Kansas City, but we decided to go ahead and call Coach Nett's 24-hour service number. Um... We're not sure. We're watching it. It's vibrating pretty hard still because there's no metal bracket now to hold it steady. And what we don't want to do is do anything that's going to cause further damage to the rig than what's already there. Or, God forbid, create a situation that's dangerous for ourselves or anyone else out here on the road. So we're wondering, would it make more sense just to remove the rock guard at this point? <sighs> that panel's going to have to be replaced anyway. Um, or is it better to leave it on there and let it jiggle? You know, I'm afraid if the aluminum's now definitely weakened, that it has a hole in it. It's not as strong as a solid piece. So we're a little worried the long hinges that hold the panels on may start to break away. We're definitely going to give it another big look over when we pull in. But we're on hold waiting for the technician to come on. So let's see what they have to say. Always said when we had our several grand design RVs, the dealers are awful. All of them, especially you, General RV in Richmond, Virginia. I never miss a chance to bring that up. The manufacturers are different from the dealers. So Jim this morning gets a call from a dealer rep that says, you need to file this claim with your insurance. And we said, absolutely not.